my first step was to clear out the van. As you can see, the van already has ply on the ceiling and a bit of insulation and a few other leftovers from using this van as a camper last summer. My plan was to take the van back to basics and starting with the ceiling do a proper job of converting the van. The ceiling panels are ones that I cut to size and screwed into the edge of the ceiling beams. I used 3.6mm ply and countersunk some 4.2mm self drilling metal screws to attach them to the ceiling without going through the roof. After removing the plywood panels, I removed the main insulation and started coating the holes made by the screws in metal primer to prevent any rust in the future. Next, I started taping off the beams with masking tape so I could fill them with expanding foam. As I would be carpeting them, I didn't want condensation to sit inside and with limited access inside the beams, foam was my best option. In my eagerness to use expanding foam for the first time, I forgot to tape up all the other holes in the first beam, which created quite a mess. However, after taping them up, I was able to clean the beam and move on to the other two. This time I taped them up properly and filling them was a lot easier. Once the foam was dry I removed the tape and scraped off any excess. Using white spirit I was able to clean off any leftover residue. The NV200 ceiling has four raised areas running through the length of the van. When I originally insulated the ceiling, I decided to fill all these with strips of foil insulation to bring these to the same level as the rest of the ceiling. I could then tape larger insulation panels over the top without any gaps for condensation to form. As I'm now gluing my ceiling insulation in place, it isn't strictly necessary to fill these raised areas and the glued insulation would conform to the shape of the ceiling. However, I already had them in place, so I glued them this time. To save removing the strips, I simply cut the strips in the middle, glued them on each side with trim fix, stuck them back in place and taped over the cut. I was then able to glue my larger insulation panels over the top. To finish them, I taped all the edges and the ceiling was now ready for carpeting. Having sent off for a number of samples, I chose to use smoke coloured carpet. The reasoning here was that as I don't have windows in the back of the van, it wouldn't make the back too dark, though it would be dark enough to hide any marks or dirt. Laying the carpet out, I cut strips to span the width of the van, giving myself plenty of excess. Using trim fix, I stuck the carpet to the beams, making sure to apply plenty of pressure, especially in the corners to provide good contact and to keep the contours of the beams. I trimmed the edge of the carpet to the edge of the ceiling and continued for the other two beams. I also carpeted the front of the van where the cab meets the back as I had some leftover carpet.
After a couple of adjustments to the ceiling ply, I was able to locate the original holes and screw the ply back in place. Overall, the carpet and plywood look really good together and I'm very happy with the result. There are a couple more adjustments that I hope to do to make sure the ply fits a bit better and I intend to put Velcro on the top side corners of the boards to get the edges to hold the carpet. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel for more videos from my MV200 build. Thanks for watching.